Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyu playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the 14th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be removing the last of the water from inside the monument or at least demonstrating how to do that. Uh, in particular I will be demonstrating how to remove the water from the pillar platform wing um, that is uh, this wing over here. It has a large platform that kind of bisects the square shaped filler. Uh, and uh, that is the last of the water that I would remove from the ocean monument. It, um, uh, I've already removed everything else from the maze and removed uh, water from the other wing, the upper passage and the lower passage. And so now this is the only thing that's left. Uh, this room is a, ch a bit of a challenge to clear because it's very large. Uh, there's not uh, really a lot of wall uh, around. Um, so the volume of water is pretty wide, which makes uh, removing it with sponges a, a little bit more difficult. So it does need to be segmented. Uh, so I'm going to start segmenting it. Um, uh, this is a scaffolding that I had left um, from uh, killing the Elder Guardian in this wing. Um, and uh, I uh, reached it um, uh, when clearing the water from the lower passageway uh, in the previous video. Uh, I'm going to uh, go through here and I'm uh, starting from this middle door. I'm going to start laying down another line of sand. Um, but I want to make sure to wait <laughs> so I can actually jump up on the sand here. Um, uh, uh, another line of sand with some more sugar canes. And I'm going to continue this line of sand almost all the way to the, uh, to the wall over there. Uh, this area is lit by a few sea lanterns, but not quite enough for a decent vision, so I will be adding some jack lanterns as I go. Uh, again, um, I only need to uh, hit the uh, each block of sand with two sugar canes in order to reach the ceiling. So I start adding some jack lanterns in for some extra light. Okay, and uh, keep going with sand. couple more jack-o'-lanterns. So there's another pillar right over there. That uh, pillar appears to be holding up the, the platform that's bisecting that larger pillar. Okay, and I want to, uh, I'm going to go um, two blocks beyond the edge of that uh, smaller pillar over there. So there's one block and blocks and now I'm going to change direction and I'm going to go in back of uh, in back of the pillar continue with my line of sand let's add a couple more jack-o'-lanterns down basically I'm going to be going all the way around um, this uh, this large square pillar and its platform with this line of sand Now this uh, this room does contain a pretty significant volume of water, so guardians uh, still have a reasonable chance of spawning here, even though the cover is in place and most of the spawning is uh, now happening on the outside of the monument. So um, I would expect to see uh, uh, at least uh, one, maybe two, or or even more guardians in here. Uh, but as long as I stay inside the sugar canes, they're not going to attack me. Uh, okay, so I've continued my line of sand, and now I'm actually uh, three blocks beyond this other uh, small pillar here. And so I'm going to change direction again, so I have a two-block gap in between. Uh, basically, that uh, spacing ensures that the uh, uh, a consistent uh, size of this outer area all the way around uh, my line of sand. Starting to get dark, a couple more jack-o'-lanterns. And I'm going to continue this uh, sand all the way to the wall. Should be getting close to the wall over there. jack-o'-lanterns. 
Again, make sure that the jack-o'-lanterns have a spacing from the sand uh, at least one block away. Uh, that's just to make sure that um, when you're clearing out water from one side of the uh, sand and sugar canes barrier, uh, this, the sugar canes don't uh, disappear on you, which might cause water to flow over uh, from one area into the area that you're clearing out. So. Okay, I've got my uh, line of sand and sugar canes all the way around here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, just start play, putting sponges down in order to clear that outer area. Uh, so again, uh, in the corner there, start with a corner and um, oh, uh, my sugar canes went away here. I'm going to place those back. Not quite sure why that happened, but there we go. Aha, uh -huh. it's because um, uh, there was a uh, block of, uh, uh, there was a water block here, and so the water got absorbed all the way over here. I, I probably should have put a, a block of sand above that door in order to uh, complete my water break, so uh, that's why they disappeared. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and continue removing uh, removing the water. A highest flowing, a highest flowing water block all the way around the edge uh, uh, and around the corner here. Um, I left, uh, I actually went a little bit too far in. Uh, there's uh, quite a few water source blocks over there, so I'm just gonna hit those with a sponge. Okay, highest falling water block all the way around. There's some extra source blocks over there. I'll get those in a moment. Okay, and uh, it looks like I, I missed uh, up here as well. There's um, uh, this sugar canes uh, needs to go higher um, uh, because there's a, a little bit of a gap there, uh, and so I missed that one. Uh, so uh, just getting the remaining water source blocks. There's one over in the corner. It looks like here, and here there are quite a few. So I'm going to hit this with a sponge. And it looks like that's all cleared. Okay, so they, um, I, I've uh, removed all the water from uh, the outside area of the sand, uh, of the uh, sand, a line of sand. Uh, now I need to go in and remove the water from uh, inside this pillar area. Um, this is this is still too wide to really just remove straight away. Um, you could do it with spamming sponges, but it's not very efficient. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, for each of the uh, sides of that square-shaped pillar, uh, I'm going to place a line of sand going out, uh, going out of it, uh, remove any intervening jack-o'-lanterns, line of sand all the way over, connecting my uh, current line and my existing line of sand here, uh, and uh, place uh, um, sugar canes here. One of these, uh, uh, one of these areas actually goes up three. Uh, uh, to the ceiling rather than two. The others are two. Um, that completes my water break there. Uh, and I'm going to want to do that for each of the other uh, two, uh, two exposed sides of this pillar here. Uh, I'm going to remove that jack-o'-lantern because it would be right next to my, uh, uh, my sand. And this one goes up three to the ceiling. Okay. I'm going to put in one more of these. There we go. And this goes three blocks up. This one here goes three blocks up to the ceiling. Nope, two blocks here. Uh, one of these goes up three blocks. Uh, this one right here. There we go. All the way up to the uh, all the way up to the ceiling. Uh, that completes the water break. Um, now uh, I can remove the uh, the water from these uh, these two areas here. I'll just um, uh, start with the sponges here. I'm going to start with the uh, corner up here, uh, right where the uh, right where my sand curves. So I'm going to hit that corner right there, and then one more uh, sponge right down by the sea lantern there. Do the same thing on the other side over here, right up in the corner, and in the corner down by the sea lantern, and that's all the water from these two sections. Uh, so now that's uh, what's remaining is over here on the, the other side of this pillar. 
Um, and um, this is where I originally came in uh, to this wing. So I've got this, uh, this little protected area up here. I'm going to return up here quickly. There's some water in here. I'm going to remove it with a single sponge. Um, and uh, now the problem uh, here is that this section, uh, this section here, not only is still really wide, but it's very tall. Um, uh, so I'm going to uh, head down and uh, against the uh, front of that uh, square-shaped pillar, all the way down there, I'm going to draw another line of sand uh, all the way underneath this platform where uh, I'm standing on that I'm standing on top of. So place sand and sugar canes, and now from here. I can just continue all the way over to the wall. I'm going to have to place uh, a lot more sugar canes here because it's much higher than uh, uh, two blocks tall. Okay, here underneath the pillar uh, is two blocks tall, but now here um, it's, uh, it's much higher. I can uh, place a third one on top by looking straight up. I can place a fourth one on top by jumping and placing another one. Um, but um, in order to get all the way up to the ceiling, I'm going to have to swim up there. So I'm just going to finish this line up here. Uh, and then I'm, I'm going to want to place a couple more um, uh, uh, blocks of sand with sugar canes on top in order to clean, complete this break that goes all the way across. Uh, and from here, um, I can, uh, it's, it's a little bit easier now to remove the uh, remainder of the water. Uh, there's, it's still going to require quite a few sponges um, because this area uh, is uh, five blocks wide and it's very deep, um, but it's not as bad as it was before. Uh, at this point, um, I'm, uh, I've been following a pretty regular procedure to, uh, uh, to make efficient use of my sponges. I've still got a lot of fuel left, so I'm not quite as concerned about uh, being efficient. Um, so I, I'll probably just uh, be a little bit more spammy here. Um, okay, uh, let's see it up there, highest flowing water block, and I can swim back up here, and I'm going to go all the way around this uh, square pillar, highest flowing water block, highest flowing water block, there's still some uh, water over there, it looks like that's an infinite water source, I'm just going to move it with a sponge. Fighting the current a little bit here. Actually, I'm just going to go around the other side. That's easier. Okay. Highest flowing water block. And it uh, looks like there's another water block on the other side of that uh, platform. Um, I can't just swim over there anymore, however, because the water isn't all the way up to the top. Uh, so I'm going to head over this way. Just hop back in here. Okay and get the rest of that water. Uh, and now um, there's, it looks like there's a little bit more water over on that platform. I could probably scoot over there. Yeah, let's just uh, grab this with a, uh, with a bucket just to see if I can. Okay, so uh, all of the water has been removed from the top area here. Um, and now I could uh, segment this, uh, this little area once more. Um, but uh, again, I'm gonna. I'm feeling a little bit more spammy with my sponges now, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, uh, clearing out the rest of the water without being too concerned about procedure. Still trying to hit the highest flowing water block. Um, it just uh, makes it easier. And there's a little bit more. Looks like an infinite water source over there. Uh, so I'll just uh, drop another sponge. Uh, one more section to go. Start up here, and highest flowing water block, Oops. this one right here, almost done, and that's it, there we go, um, the last of the water is gone, um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this stuff up here probably want to throw down some torches uh, around the outside here even though this pillar has some sea lanterns they don't really light all all the way to the edge uh, um, sufficiently so i'd uh, throw down a few more torches 
Um, but uh, that is it. This is the last room that I had to do uh, to uh, remove water from the inside of the monument. Um, uh, at this point, I'm going to um, uh, probably make another short video after this one, a uh, little bit of a retrospective uh, on, uh, on um, maybe a couple of things I would change about this procedure. Uh, but that's more or less it. Um, uh, after this, I'm, uh, I'm going to be moving all of my materials from my uh, little uh, base onto the uh, cover of the ocean monument to begin the longer process of removing the water from above the monument. Uh, that is it for this video. Um, I'm going to clean all this stuff up uh, off camera. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.